so we started the, in the previous example uh, with a piecewise function and we obtained a representation of it using the heaviside function in this way. Um, this is the slanted part and this is the horizontal part and now we have to take the Laplace transform of the function. So uh, this is not the simplest form. Uh, it has a heaviside function h of t minus 6 twice and it's not just not simplest but it's not even appropriate uh, to start uh, applying the Laplace transform for it. So we have to simplify first. Uh, we multiply in through these uh, brackets uh, and uh, we do some simplification. Um, let's see what we can do with it. So we combine the h of t minus 6 part we have minus 3 times t minus 1 and plus 15. Uh, it's actually easier to write a plus first in front of it and then combine all the terms together. We have minus 3t, then we have plus 3, and then we have uh, plus 15 of the h. And after adding together 3 and 15, we get minus 3 t plus 18 for the multiplier of h of t minus 6. And then uh, I also uh, um, factor out a minus 3 from this part so that I get t minus 6 from here, uh, which is important because uh, we will see why. So after simplification, now we have the three heavy side functions, h of t minus 1, h of t minus 6, and h of t minus 9 with some uh, multiplier in front of them. Now we start applying the Laplace transform for this function. Laplace transform is linear, so we can uh, factor out uh, constants out of it, and we can apply it term by term to the three large parts of this function. And the formula that we will use here is this one. If the heavy side function h of t minus a is multiplied by a function f, where the function is also shifted by a, so the argument is t minus a, then the formula says that the way you can calculate it is that uh, you have e to the minus a s, where a is coming from this shift part, and uh, you have to take the Laplace transform of the function without the shift. So the argument of the function f should be t instead of t minus a. And the hope is that the f function is simple enough so that uh, we know how to find the formula for the Laplace transform of this function. And this is true in our case. So look at, look at these uh, parts. All of them matches this uh, kind of uh, pattern. Here we have a equals 1, uh, here we have a equals 6, and here a equals 9. And then the function f, um, well, instead of a function, we just have t minus 1, which means it's the function t shifted by 1. So according to the formula, uh, we will have e to the minus 1s, and then we have to calculate the Laplace transform of t instead of t minus 1. So it's basically it's supposed to be the formula without the shift part, always. You're supposed to cancel this minus 1 part, and then take the Laplace transform of whatever is left there. The Laplace transform of t can be obtained again from a, um, a table. It's 1 over s squared. And I left out here 3. So let's put it back. The three multiplier that's supposed to come from there. The next term, three times the Laplace transform of t minus six times h of t minus six. Now a is six, so we have e to the minus six s. And again, we have to take the Laplace transform of t, the part without the minus six. And the Laplace transform of t is again one over s squared. Finally, for 15, 
Um, well, notice that what I did here is I, I kind of cheated. I put there a multiplier of one. Um, there was supposed to be only the heavy side function h of t minus nine, but that means you have one of h of t minus nine, which means one multiplies h of t minus nine. So it's like a function, constant function one now. And then using this, uh, the, the constant function does, uh, it doesn't have to be shifted. You can shift it, but it stays the same because it's constant one forever. Uh, so shift doesn't change it. And then the shift is actually by nine. So you have e to the minus nine s and the Laplace transform of one, shifted or non-shifted, it's the same now. And the Laplace transform of one is one over s. So putting together all these three parts, we obtain uh, three times e to the negative s times one over s square minus, is coming from there, minus three e to the negative six s times one over s square and another minus 15 e to the nine s times one over s. The Laplace transform of the original piecewise function.